Hello YouTube, it's Sunday the 5th of May and I didn't get to my 15 things I've sold video done on Wednesday like I usually do so here it is, 15 things I've sold over the last First up is the Ollie and Nick handbag, I got this from the car boot sale a few weeks ago unfortunately when I got it home I discovered it still had a security tag inside luckily my son was able to remove this and it sold for its full asking price of 19 99 plus postage I believe I paid £3 for this also from the car boot sale, this was a couple of weeks ago, this Dorothy Perkins pale pink bubble hem top cost me 50p and I accepted an offer of £10 plus postage for this one. Another file of has gone out, this one cost me a pound from the car boot sale and I accepted an offer of £13 plus postage for this one as I'd been hanging around for a few weeks. Here are one pair of the Riker anti-stress shoes that I got from the Jumbo sale a couple of weeks ago. You'll remember these cost me a pound. They were with their box and they have sold for their full asking price plus postage. From the same Jumbo sale, these OPI nail varnish set cost me 20p and I accepted an offer for this of £10 plus postage. I was glad to see these sell. They're a pair of mini Bowden uh, khaki green slip-on trainers. It's DAP style. I bought them from a car boot sale either last summer or the one before, possibly the year before and they've just hung around and hung around, finally sold at their full asking price so glad to see them go. I had a message from a buyer about this mug asking a couple of questions. Um, I was out at the time and couldn't check the item to respond and by the time I got home with the intention of digging it out and answering her questions she'd bought it anyway so this went out for its full asking price plus postage. Here's the Mickey Mouse pencil case that I bought from the car boot sale for a pound a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you'll remember when I got it home I discovered it was £3 from Primark originally. Well I've managed to sell it for £6 plus posted so I'm pleased with that. This Green Lamb Ladies pink golf jacket I actually had thought was a bit of a mistake. I bought it in the charity shop for £3.50. Um, I don't often see golfing clothes and I thought oh, golf that's a that's a you know expensive sport it hung around for two 30-day listings and then suddenly sold and the ladies left me very positive feedback with a comment asking if I have any more golf clothes sadly I don't these woolly tumblers tumble dryer balls cost me one pound from the charity shop and they've sold for their full asking price of 9.99 here are the hotter ankle boots that I bought from the charity shop in Portis Head last week. I paid £5.99 for these and they have sold for £19.99 plus postage. My second window wizard has sold. This is the double glazing one. I've still got the single glazing one that was tucked into the box with it. This has sold for £24.99. And my Harry Potter Adventures Through Hogwarts game. Natalie and I, my daughter, set this up and played it to make sure it worked. We found it quite a tedious game with very little point to it, but it did all work. It made all the right sounds and all the pieces were there. And it sold for £24.99 plus postage and that went off on the Global Shipping Programme. I was very pleased to sell this Joseph dress. You'll remember I bought it from the charity shop and was very pleased to get it for I think £5.99, maybe £6.99. However, when I got it home, I discovered that it had some damage, which was obviously why it was selling so cheap. I did mention this in the listing. It sold regardless. However, I've had a message from the buyer to say that they didn't realise there were marks on the lining which may not come out when dry cleaned, so they like to return it. I don't remember any marks on the lining, and to be honest, if it were me, marks on the lining wouldn't bother me because I'm not intending to wear the thing inside out. But what can you do? As a business seller, you have to accept returns, so I've just told her to return it, no problem. And I'll relist it when it gets here. And my final sale for this video is these Clark's Die Review Black Villa shoes. These are brand new without the tags, uh, sadly no box. I've had them listed for at least six months. Um, I turned down a couple of very, very low offers on them. I did have them all at $24.99 and I've gradually reduced them uh, until they sold today for $16.99 plus postage. So that's it for this week's 15 things I've sold. Again, not really a week, more like the last 10 days. I will try to be better this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and use the subscribe function if you'd like to see more of my videos. Take care for now. Bye bye.